Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi, today we are going to see how to create a simple animation in Unity. Uh, you can use this animation technique in for both 2D and 3D game objects. But for this tutorial, we'll be using a 2D scene. So as you can see, I have an empty 2D scene with me. And I'll be adding a ball and a ground. And I'll animate the ball bounce animation. So let's go to the hierarchy, click on the plus sign, go to 2D object, sprite, circle. This will be my ball. Then let's add a ground, that will be a 2D object, sprite, square, ground. And to make it look like a ground, I'm going to scale it 20 times in the X and 0.5 in the Y. And in my scene view, I'll move it down and give it a color brown that's it so that's my ground and my ball i'll move it to the initial position here and give it a color maybe yellow so there you go i've added the sprites required and to animate it you need the animation window so if it is not open for you you can go to window animation animation and you'll have the animation window open for you so I've already created an animation, so I'll delete it so that we can I can show you how to create one. So select your game object, then you'll see a create button here. Click on create. Let's call it bounce. And once the animation clip is created, you should see an empty timeline. And also an animator component is added to your game object. Animator basically controls how you play your animation clip. And you can basically have multiple numbers of animation clip for a single game object. So with the animator, you can decide which animation clip plays at what time. So we'll go into the detail about the animator in a different tutorial. But for this tutorial, just understand the basic of what the animator does. So to animate the game object, click on the record button. Then create uh, to create a new uh, keyframe, click on the timeline and then move your game object so at 10th frame i want the game object to hit the ground and on the 20th frame i want to go i want it to hit the next peak and similarly for 30 come back to the ground at 40 but here at 50 to the ground so six one second or uh, the 60th frame and it will be here so if I play the animation now, it looks like a ball box. If you want the animation to look more realistic, you have to add more number of keyframes. And once you're done with adding all the keyframes and you're satisfied with the animation, click on the record button again. Any change you want to do to this animation, click on this record button and then do the changes. If you don't click on this, it will not be reflected in your animation. Uh, now you can open the animator window by going to window animation animator and you can see by default the bounce is added as the default animation since there is no other animation attached to this game object so if there are more number of animation states then you will have the other like for example if you have a roll animation there will be one more roll button here so you can decide which animation is your default transition so as soon as the game object is active your default animation will play in our case, this is a bounce animation. So if I play the game, the ball should bounce. There you go. And you can also see that the animation is looping. So if you don't want the animation to loop, go to your project window, select your animation and uncheck loop time. So if loop time is unchecked, then the animation plays only once. So this was the basic of uh, animation. If you want to control the speed of the animation, you can change it from the animator window. Just select the animation and change the speed. So, if you play it now, it should play at half the speed or much slower. So, that was the basic of how the animation, a simple animation can be created in Unity. See you in the next tutorial. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.